instead of going begging for help, I'm raised to work. Almost 2,000 Tennesseans are suing Governor Bill Lee for ending the federal government's added unemployment benefits at the beginning of July. Tennessee reporter Vinay Simlot spoke to a local member of that class action lawsuit who says he just needs some help. Thomas Rimmer spends his days applying for jobs and trying to take care of his mom who has a disability. We don't even have enough money to even buy food sometimes. He says he's never been on unemployment before. So before the pandemic, I was working at an animal care shelter in Jefferson City. But at the beginning of the pandemic, the shelter shut down and laid him off. He can't find another job. I enjoy working every day, supporting my family. After Governor Bill Lee ended the federal unemployment programs, Thomas Rimmer doesn't have any more income. The state's unemployment lasts 26 weeks. The federal program extended it. Now, Thomas Rimmer and 1,800 Tennesseans are suing to get that unemployment money back. These millions of dollars which are being supplied and which otherwise would come from the United States into the pockets of Tennesseans are being stopped for political reasons. The governor says his goal is to end unemployment and put people back to work. People I represent, the class I represent, uh, are either not qualified or physically able to perform some of those, some of those jobs. But Gary Blackburn, a Nashville lawyer who filed the complaint, says Tennesseans are entitled to those $300 million because of Tennessee law and because they pay federal taxes. This is not a case about forming policy. It's a case about obeying the law. Meanwhile, Thomas Rimmer just wants some help as he tries to take care of his mom. We're like barely making it. In Knoxville, I'm Vinay Simlot. The attorney says people in other states like Indiana have won similar cases. They want a judge to reinstate the federal unemployment benefits. Two